Brother Tantheus burned beyond recovery of his gene seed, along with Brother Michaelis. Nothing was left of them save for ash. They burned from the inside out. Anything else to report? The Orc Warboss has been destroyed, but we saw a dropship leave the area. Captain, she bore the eight-pointed star. The mark of the ruinous powers of chaos. The forces of chaos? Here? Now? Tartarus has endured several Black Crusades led by the terrible Chaos Champions. However, it seems too convenient that Orcs and these heretics are here at the same time. But I trust the eyes of our scouts. Isidore, do you sense anything? No, I have sensed nothing. But if the nature of Brother Tantius's demise is any indication, then they would have a sorcerer with them who would be capable of masking their presence especially with all the background static caused by the Orcs. Ah, our honored guest has arrived. Who is it? Inquisitor Mordecai Toth, protector of the Emperor's divine word and will. Is he here to take command? An Inquisitor may have near unlimited power. Yes, he can commission the service of any Imperial citizen, from peasant to planetary governor, but... I shall not cede command of my space marines to him, Inquisitor or not. Then why is he here? Does he suspect one of us of heresy? He is an Inquisitor. They suspect everyone of heresy. If chaos taints this world, then that explains his presence. We must share with him what we discovered. Inquisitor Toth, welcome to Tartarus. Thank you, Captain. But we have little time for courtesies. You and your men must leave Tartarus. Now. This warp storm could trap us here for a month or for a century. We cannot risk staying here. We must evacuate Tartarus before it arrives in three days' time. The Imperial Guard and Holy Fleet can attend to the evacuation. The Blood Ravens have more pressing matters to contend with. Such as? I believe agents of chaos have taken strong root here. I sense no taint here. Even so, were there a chaos presence on Tartarus? It is better we leave them here with the Orcs than waste more lives fighting them. We could wish no worse fate for either of our enemies and to be trapped with the other. But we must leave here now. That is a matter for my brothers and I to decide. We will use these three days to settle our affairs and satisfy our suspicions. Meanwhile, you have our transports to facilitate evacuation. Colonel Brom, the captain and I must attend to matters of faith. If you would leave us, please. But surely this involves me as a... Forgive me for not being clear on the matter. I said please, when in fact I meant now. This does involve him. You should have shown him a modicum of respect. Captain, you uncovered extensive heresy on your home world. Cyrene, was it? That has nothing to do with the events here on Tartarus. But I believe they do. You requested the Inquisition undertake an exterminatus. The destruction of your planet's entire populace. Which we obliged. I still fail to see. Captain, I am not questioning your loyalty. But I must wonder if your actions on Cyrene have not affected your judgment. Perhaps that was a poor choice of words. I merely fear that you might see chaos, but it does not exist. I ask that as a loyal subject of the Emperor, you serve the Imperium's interest before your own agenda. Captain, that Inquisitor had no right to speak to you in such manner. But perhaps he is right. The coming storm will trap our enemies here where they can consume one another. And what if the forces of chaos escape the system before the storm? No. We will not use this freak occurrence as an excuse to avoid our enemies, or our responsibility. 
They are here for a reason, and we will discover that reason. We are with you, Brother Captain, as always. The humans are coming your way in full force. You should hear their heavy feet long before you see them, and smell them long before that. Orbital Command has indicated the dropship landed in this general proximity. We've discovered a path, Captain. It's obvious someone has been digging here. Cut by orcs? Hmm, I've never seen an orc lend such a careful hand to a task. If it wasn't orcs, then it must be the forces of chaos. We will follow this path and discover the truth behind what has transpired here. So the good Inquisitor senses no chaos here. How fortunate for the Imperium that such keen-eyed eagles stand vigil over her gates. What dark crafts have these Eldar invoked? None. At least not here. The servants of chaos sacrificed this poor guardsman themselves. To what end, Isidore? I know not. I believe the altar is a marker, a waypoint, in a map that leads elsewhere. Someone defaced many portions of text. Regardless of what chaos seeks here, the altar requires a sacrifice of blood, or more likely, a life. Brother Isidore, you have an hour to study the altar. Document everything as is our tradition. Then burn it, lest its taint infect us all. But Gabriel, there is much to learn from here. We should not be too eager to... Learn what? Chaos does not teach. It misleads and it betrays. There is nothing to learn here save for our next course. These transports have been damaged somehow. Make the repairs and be quick. Well, well, Brother Isidore. What betrayal have you wrought? Disabling your own vehicles? Harboring artifacts despite your good captain's instructions? Gabriel does not understand. He does not appreciate the significance of this. No, but I do. Quiet, heretic. Once I find what you seek, I will use it against you for the glory of the Emperor and my brothers. You wish to deal me a harsh blow, to prove your strength and worth. Well then come to me. I wait at Mount Korath. Have no fear, sorcerer. I will be there. Exalted Farseer, the humans are moving, traversing the slope as you predicted. They are walking into our trap. Yes, but you can never ambush a space marine. Remember that. They expect treachery at every turn. You can only validate their suspicions. Your orders? We have locked the humans into this path as they have locked us into ours. They know they enter a gauntlet, and they will likely drag us into it as well. Now we play our parts, and pray that we are the better actors. Are you certain? Yes. The pass to Mount Korath. This is where the altar said we must go. Why? Do you question my findings? I do not question your abilities, Brother Librarian. But I do question their tactical sense. That mountain pass is the perfect location for an ambush. Listen to the distrust in his voice. He probably calls you mutant behind your back. But he fears your divinity, your power. You must put the child at ease. I do not deny that this is likely a trap. Which is all the more proof that our enemy lies in this direction. Very true, old friend. 
Stay alert and follow my lead. I want no mistakes. Agreed. We are still unearthing more Eldar explosives and demolition charges, but we dare not move them. We replace their triggering mechanisms, however. That is all I care to do with such Xenotech. Was this a trap? No. By the placement of the charges, it is likely they plan to collapse this area, burying the marker and anyone near it. They failed. Isidore, study the marker and see where it leads us next. Captain, Inquisitor Toth has arrived. Of course he has. Yes, Captain, it is an impressive sight. But I never claimed chaos had never set foot on this planet before. I said that if something were here, the impending warp storm would eliminate that threat. Best we not remain to share its fate. And as I explained, Inquisitor, the Blood Ravens will remain until the last possible moment. Until that happens, in two or three days hence, I plan on pursuing this riddle. Captain, I do not presume to question your decisions concerning the Blood Ravens. But when it comes to employing the Colonel's Imperial Guard in your quest... My quest? Yet again you accuse me of pursuing my personal interests. It is my duty and yours to expunge any scent of heresy or chaos. You overstep yourself. As do you, Inquisitor. It is not the Colonel's Imperial Guard. Their lives belong to the Emperor. It is by his mandate and will that I use the Imperial Guard against the forces of disorder and elevate them in the glory of holy battle. I see now that coming here was a mistake. If you are set on a path that will lead you to destruction, I can do nothing to stop you. But I won't allow you to drag us down with you. By inquisitorial edict, I am taking control of the planet Tartarus. All requests for planetary resources, including its military, will go through me. Captain, from this point on, you and your men are on your own. Our choices are gone. We have but one recourse left. Do you understand what is asked of you? You cannot ask that which I offer freely, Farseer. My life is yours. It belongs to all Elder now, brave one. You will become the war cry made manifest. The host is assembled, and we fully commit ourselves to the battle. You are the best of us. May Kayla Mencha Cain bind you worthy of becoming his avatar. Then the human shall have the death they seek. <laughs> This delay! You cost us the key, Sindri. The false Emperor's lackeys and Eldar will battle for the city. <laughs> they are not but hapless fools before your might, Lord Bale. Surely a modicum of patience is in order here. Let us progress to your benefit and my devices. You'll see. Have faith. Have I led you astray thus far? No. But if you fail me in this... Yes, yes, then my suffering will be great. Just be ready to move when I instruct. Just a bit longer.